Hey y'all, welcome back to a brand new episode of Get the Sense 92. Give you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational posts by me. The Queen is back out again. So, um, Lindsay Lohan, she released um, a new single. It's called Back to Me. Um, so, I've been wanting to do a review um, of this song. So, um, I just got finished listening to it a few minutes ago. Um, Lindsay Lohan, um, I've always have liked her. I know that, you know, her personal life, she has, she has went through personal things up and down. Um, she's a well-known actress, um, and she does music too. Um, but it's been a while since we've heard from Lindsay Lohan, and, you know, she's been keeping herself low-key from the public eye and, um, spotlight. But, um, with that being said, I am familiar of who she is because I grew up with her during my childhood you know era so um yeah so i feel like back to me is one of these like records um the production has more like that edm pop um a little bit of like acoustic nostalgia um the production has more of like more of like that pop direction route um and i like this record from lizzie lohan now i do feel like for this record since it's pretty much a record of like you know self-reflection and self-empowering and pretty much uplifting i would have liked it better if the record and the production had like a different sound um and i'm not putting down on the production so i like the production but it's kind of remind me of like a uh, more of like that route of like the early two like the 2010 2000 i would say mm, 13 of like pop and edm kind of vibe um of the sound um not bashing the record i like it um but i wish it would have more like that up tempo like that upbeat that flavor and also she also could um could have like incorporated a different sound you know more like updated you know up to date but with that being said i feel like the record itself is really 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 good i like that you know basically you know she's pretty much like i said you know expressing herself on the record so it's pretty much like i said her experiences in her personal life you know and pretty much it's pretty much like a um i would say liberation you know a newfound freedom and hope and faith and this is what i like about records like these because it does get you like thinking and self-reflection but at the same time you do want to have fun so it's a fun record as well so it's a fun record, something you can dance to, something you can drive in a car to, vibe, relax to, clean up in your house, you know, and while you're listening to this record. But I feel like I said, you know, the production, I feel like even though the EDM and the pop sound is really, like like I said, it's a thing, but I feel like it. I like records that have more of like that versatility, which like have more of like that, kind of like that boom grit a beat kind of sound but it gets you going it gets you have the adrenaline it gets you like being able to like okay make sure that i kind of wish like this the production i think the production was safe i don't think it was like groundbreaking and i don't really think that it was like as much thrill and excitement because especially a song like back to me i'm thinking like the production would be more like a beat and more like you know have a little bit of like that raw edge to it but with that being said um, it's not a bad record, it's pretty good, but I wanted something more of like, you know, the production has more production and just has, you know, have more like that value and more of like that depth. Um, Lindsay Lohan, she pretty much, like I said, her singing on the record is pretty good. I mean, like I said, she has never been like a powerhouse, uh, singer, but like I said, you know, the auto-tune, it does work well with her, um, voice, but at the same time, you know, like I said, she does... You know she's bringing a little bit of nostalgia here and there so with that being said i rate this record a 3.5 out of 5. it's something catchy it's something fun it's a pretty good record but like i say you know overall it's not a bad record but with that being said you know she's back you know making music so um yeah that's all i have to say so lindsay lohan fans please let me know down below your thoughts your fans um please let me know um please not be afraid to like share comment subscribe down below Please not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Please not be afraid to hit that notification button. As always, stay tuned in the next episode of Since 92. Dragon Ball Z, never reference. Peace. Bye-bye. You girls asking me out. This Super Saiyan is out.